Hey guys, it's Alan from In The Game Room Podcast and GCMini.com. Um, I haven't been in front of the camera much lately because I know you guys come here to see what I'm working on or what I'm reviewing or whatever. Um, so I kind of stay out of the out of the camera. But anyways, today I want to talk to you about all of this. So I'm going to sit here and talk to you about it. Um, I'm about to start a new... We'll call it a mini-series on the podcast where I am going to do a workbench overhaul. I'm going to change everything about this. Um, this isn't working right now for me. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of horizontal space here that just gets clogged up with stuff as I keep putting things in there. Um, the uh, paint racks, I'm rethinking that. Um, I'm going to keep the paint racks for sure, but the risers that rise them that raise them up off the off the shelf here, they might go away because um, I think they're a great idea for creating that extra space in there. But I have a problem where I start cramming things in there and then virtually forget about them. There's stuff in these cubby holes here that have been there since I put it in there, you know, a year ago or whatever, and I don't even remember what's in there. So I don't think that space is really working for me. So what I might do um, is move the paint racks down onto the actual workbench and try to keep all of this other crap here off the workbench and up on shelves. Um, so if I can just have, you know, the basic tools that I'm using at the moment and the paints that I need and the paint mixer that should be enough for the bench. And then I have a couple of shelves up here. Um, I'm thinking of adding another shelf in here because uh, if you can see up here all the stuff that's on this shelf, most everything on here is, you know, six or eight inches tall at the most. So there's a lot of extra space above that shelf. So I can move this one up a little, add one in between, move the paint racks down to the bench and uh, maybe get a much better system going here. Um, so that's going to be coming up pretty soon. I'm collecting the things that I'm going to need to do this job. I want to do it right and I want to do it really cool. Um, so I'm getting all the stuff together so I can do a series of videos for you. Um, you know, with the progress every day or every couple of days during this project. Um, but one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you about this tonight, even though it's not happening for probably a week or so, is that part of this uh, workbench overhaul is going to be a promotion that I'm running for my company for Gamecraft Miniatures. I'm calling the promotion Win Allen's Paints and it pretty much sounds like exactly what it sounds like or is what it sounds like or something like that. Basically all of the paints you see up here that are Vallejo products which is everything except these washes right here. Everything you see up there it's going to go to somebody. Um, we're going to do a drawing. It's going to be in three weeks. Starting today, anytime you place an order on Gamecraft Miniatures, when you get to the checkout and there's a place for order comments, write in there, Win Allen's Paints. And you'll be entered into the contest every time you place an order for the next three weeks. Um, to make things official, it ends on June 28th at midnight. And there are about 220 paints up here. About half of them, or maybe a little more than half of them, have never been opened, so they're brand new. The rest of them, uh, maybe they've been opened and just used a few drops here and there. Maybe they've been opened and they're about half empty. I don't think there's very many of those, actually. Um, so there's a lot of paint here. And if you know what Vallejo paints cost, you know what 220 bottles of them is worth so this is a pretty major giveaway um, so when you check out like I said put win Allen's paints in the comments and we'll automatically enter you in the contest if you live in one of those places where they don't allow contests to require a purchase to be eligible to be entered then just send me an email that says uh, win Allen's paints in the in the uh, subject line and I'll enter you in the contest it's not a big deal um, so it's going to be in three weeks we'll have a drawing we'll give away all of the Vallejo paints you see in these six racks up there uh, I'm not giving away the racks I'm keeping my racks but I'm giving away the paints 
and I'm paying the postage if it's uh, domestic US. If you live outside the US and you want to be in the contest, that's fine. But once I get them all boxed up and figure out how much they weigh, I'm going to send you a bill for the postage. That's, I think that's fair. Um, so that being said, um, I'll get back to you guys in a few days and let you know kind of what I'm thinking about for the, uh, for the workbench overhaul. But meanwhile, get in the contest and uh, good luck to you. It's a lot of paint. It's Vallejo. It's good stuff. So there you go. Keep on gaming, guys.